Today we're going to find out how to get not only royalty-free, but completely free photographs to use in your business, on your business cards, and in your business literature. One of the most popular upload sites on the internet is known as Flickr. Many people are tempted to go into Flickr and take some of these photos and use them without either attribution or permission. While you may get away with this on a private basis, if you try to use these photographs in this manner in your business, the photographer is free to come back to you and demand royalty payments for every business card you've put the picture on or every impression or visitor to your website. Why use a photograph without permission when it's so easy to find some that have been released to the public domain? Let's do that by searching Flickr. The first thing we want to do is go to Flickr and then click on the search box. I just leave it empty and this will bring us to further search options where I click on advanced search. In the advanced search box, let's fill in a simple phrase like ocean sunset. You can further qualify this by all words or either word and you can even use the not including box to qualify it further by typing in, for instance, Atlantic. Say we just want a picture of a Pacific sunset. And then if we get down to the bottom of the box and click search, you'll see that we get over 156,000 hits for ocean sunsets. While many of these are very beautiful photographs, the problem is that we're not able to tell which ones have been released to the public domain. Let's scroll down to the bottom again and look a little more closely. Here we find a Creative Commons search box. We can specify that we'll only look for photographs that have a Creative Commons license that allow them to be used commercially. This means that we don't have to pay royalties on these photographs, and yet the photographer will allow them to be used in another commercial setting. And then click Search and you'll notice that we have far fewer results. You can click on the license if you want to make sure that you've got one that has been released for commercial use. And it's a good idea to double check. But you'll see at the top that these are tagged for Creative Commons commercial use. That means that all of these photographs are free to be used without royalties. Of course, you will want to give an attribution to the photographer. There is one problem that you may run into in Flickr Creative Commons usage, however, and let's test that by searching for Mickey Mouse. You'll notice we come up with a, a really old Mickey cartoon from the 30s. It's released by Jeff Milner to the public domain. The only trouble is Jeff has no right to release Mickey Mouse, and in fact, it's copyrighted by Walt Disney, one of the most aggressive prosecutors of copyright violations in existence. So just because someone says something is in public domain doesn't mean it is. If you have any doubt that the photographer has taken the picture or that the photographer does not have the rights to release the photo into public domain, don't go ahead and use it. Flickr also provides videos, and you can find very nice videos in the public domain. Pick your search terms and then scan through the videos. Click on them to preview them, and if you find any you like, download them and use them according to license. But here's another area where you can run into trouble. Beautiful picture of waves, but look what happens next. This isn't a deserted beach. These are people enjoying Waikiki. Well, that's great, but we don't have model releases from any of these people. And once again, you're not free to use the images without having licenses and permissions, which in this case means model releases. So just because it's on Flickr doesn't mean it's free. However, if you use some common sense and search only within the licenses, share alike, commercial use category, you'll be able to find plenty of photographs that you can use in your business and on your website. 
This is Danny Byrne for Ghost Lake Media. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you again soon. For more tips like this, please visit our website at www.ghostleg.com.